Hey team, Rachel and Gome here, five star diamond coach and founder of our team of bigger purpose. And today I want to talk to you about attraction marketing and how you can build your team of coaches um, and actually have people start coming to you. And so this is, uh, it can be quite magical. <laughs> so in the beginning of your business, what's going to happen is you're going to have to reach out to people and you're going to have to do individual invites through messenger. And to be quite honest, I still do that. But I think of it more as planting seeds because what happens is people follow me on social media and they start to see more about coaching and who I am as a person and they start to think, okay, I can do what she does. I want what she has. I'm going to do this too. And a lot of times they say no, um, especially when I invite them the first time, but they keep watching, they keep watching, they keep watching. And eventually they say yes. And so I'm showing you my Instagram right now just because I want to show you um, a couple of examples of what I mean about attraction marketing and everything and what that looks like. And so I'm going to show you some examples. But the first thing that you want to do is when you're posting on social media, the first thing you always want to do is add value. And so before you post something, ask, is this something that will be shared, commented on? Will this add value to someone's life? Um, and if not, consider not posting it. Um, and then I want you to think about the three to five things that you do want to post about that make you unique and are the kind of people that you want to attract. And so if you can see on my feed, I post a lot about food and travel. Um, I post family stuff to mommy stuff like toddlers, um, a lot of faith. And I'm in Africa, so, um, or at least I am right now I'm filming this video. I'm in Senegal, and so I post about my travels there and wine. I drink wine. Um, and I post about fitness, but I post a lot about the business. And so I'm going to show you a couple examples. Let's hope I pick on the right ones. Um, not this one. So let's. Give me some patience here while I pick out. Okay, this one. Okay, and so almost every day, I try to do this at least five times a week. I post about coaching and kind of how it changes my life or what I'm up to as a coach. And so in this post, I just said my heart is happy and I got off a training call with one of my new coaches, Lynette. She had a baby. She became a coach so you could stay home and have money. And I can't wait to help her achieve these goals and more. I love being a coach hashtag. All right, so that is just an example. Um, and I think the important thing, I posted about why she became a coach. She became a coach so she can stay home with her new baby and save money to adopt another baby. And so by posting that, who are the kind of people that I'm going to attract? I'm going to attract people that want to become stay-at-home moms and want to adopt kids, right? And so that's kind of like my thing. That's who I want to attract. And so that's what I'm going to be posting, all right? So I'm not posting like a lot. Usually I'm not posting a lot of like quit your nine-to-five jobs because I never had a nine-to-five job and I never quit it. I'm posting like we struggled financially, now we don't. I'm going to show you a couple more examples. Um, I see, I post a lot about traveling before we moved to France. I'm going on a girl's trip to Napa Valley. We're going on a bike riding wine tour. So again, wine travel, kind of my thing. Um, national drink wine day. Hello. <laughs> um, here is another one. And I, I share a lot of gratitude posts. Today is a great day because I got to speak on a friend's team call and share my tips for building a successful home business. I was able to help new coaches on my team get started. I went for a gorgeous walk. Why are you smiling today? And so people see this and they're like, oh, so when I join her team, I don't have to like do everything on my own. I'm a part of an actual team and she's going to help me. Okay. And so when you do these posts, um, you're probably not going to get a ton of likes or comments on them and that's fine, but know that people are watching. They are watching, they are watching. Here's another one. Never in my life did I think I would find a career that would inspire me so much that I actually love working and look forward to each and every Monday. Life is good and I'm so grateful. I love being a coach. Again, see, I didn't get any comments on it, but I got a lot of people that saw it, I'm telling you. And I think the week I posted this, I posted a couple of these. I sponsored nine coaches in that one week. 
nine coaches in one week just from a couple of these bread crumbing posts. Let's see this one. Nope, that was just adding value post, big news. And when I, when I have a post that I think will be like, will get a lot of comments or tractions, like this one was seen by like, I don't know, 20,000 people on Facebook. I posted that we're moving to France. And so that's something that's gonna, I know, I knew it was gonna get a lot of likes and comments. But in here, I posted, I'm super grateful for my Beachbody business and the fact that I can work from anywhere in the world. My team is already planning a French retreat. And so I'm posting these big news, but I found a way to tie Beachbody in there. And so when everyone, those thousands and thousands of people are seeing this post, they're like, oh, that's cool, she can work from anywhere. Okay, and what's really important, you can see I do not, it's been a long time since I posted an income post. I do not share a lot of income posts. First, I mean, you totally can, but when you get to my level where you're making a six-figure income, it's almost intimidating, and people don't relate to it. Um, and so that's one of the reasons I don't post a lot about it, but I also, I don't wanna attract people who are in it just for the money. And I find that when you do post those things, people that are just want it for the money come in. But when I'm posting um, things about the team and things about traveling and just the lifestyle in general that is possible with coaching, I attract the kind of people that I really want to work with and that are really building this for the right reasons. Um, and so you can go through my Instagram or Facebook. It's easier to see on Instagram, obviously. Um, but lots of travel stuff. Last and free, let's see this one. I'm so grateful because of my coaching biz, I can just get up and go to Africa like that. No boss to have to request time off from. No one's telling me I can't go, I can just go. That's such a great feeling. And so you do not have to have, obviously, crazy financial success to do this. You can start doing this now. And so you can, let's see, like the post that I did about Lynette. Like, I'm so grateful that I'm able to get new coaches started on my team. Um, I did one and I don't do a ton of shake pictures, but that was, that one's in there. Um, let's see this one. No. Um, here's one here. I am working. Okay. So this is, I just shared a quote and then I said, I work hard now. So in the future we will be financially free, no debt, no mortgage. I work hard now so we can give and make an impact. I have a lot of projects I want to start in Senegal to improve the lives of babies there. Without the freedom that coaching gives us, it would be impossible to take months off for work. I work hard now so we can, full, we can have a fully funded college account for TJ. I don't ever want them working and worrying about student loans. I work hard now so we can have the freedom to do whatever the heck we want whenever we do. It means sacrificing time from the TV. And so what happens when I post something like this? I haven't achieved all these things. We still have a mortgage. We haven't started a savings account for TJ. I'm posting my vision for the future. And as a new coach, when you haven't had success yet, that's what you do. You share your vision of the future. Why are you doing this business? Why are you working hard now? And I'm posting that I'm working hard because I don't want to attract people that think this is an easy thing and they just come in and it gets handed to them because it's not. I want to attract people that are gonna work hard and that aren't gonna give up. And so think about what you're posting and choose your words kind of carefully. And so I, I put in here that I'm, I'm sacrificing things, but it's for our future and it's for a better life and it's for these things that I want. And I know that the people that I'm attracting are also gonna want those similar things. So, um, that's pretty much it for attraction marketing. Like I said, you gotta, these are like jab, jab, jab. So if you look at my feed, I do not have a lot of um, join my team posts. I really don't. I do those rarely, less than once a week. I just did one. Um, but I think before that, it had been like three or four weeks before I did a join my team post, maybe even longer, um, because I am doing all of these constant jab, 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 jabs. Um, and so the key as a coach is to do these jabs. Obviously your whole feed should not be about coaching. It should be about you, your lifestyle and everything that you want to attract, but you need to throw coaching in there and the business opportunity. Obviously fitness is important, but you need to talk about the business. If you want to attract people who want to build a business, which you do, if you want to earn an income as a coach, um, 
So I think that's it. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. And don't be, again, don't be afraid to be like silly and be totally you on social media. Hello, I mask iPads. Cause that's just gonna, what's gonna make people relate to you more is when you really put yourself out there and just be you without makeup and eating peanut butter from a spoon. Um, so yeah, if you have questions, let me know. I hope that was helpful and start sharing your vision. Start sharing exactly what you want to accomplish with this business and you will attract people who want the same thing and your business will explode and you will become a recruiting rock star. I hope that helps. Talk to you later. Bye.